So I was actually going to talk about this a few days ago. This was tweeted on June the 9th from the wonderful Somatically on Twitter. This simmer and some other simmers noticed some changes and differences with the whims. They tweet, did anyone notice that those two whims have a different design than the one we have right now? Is the whims overhaul coming to the Sims 4? Some simmers have whims turned off in their games. Some have them on. Personally, I like to use them, but they are flawed. They don't provide many benefits to your sims, and they're just extremely repetitive. There really is no correlation between the whims and your sims' specific personalities. Everything is just kind of random and mood-driven. There are many things that are in need of an overhaul, the first one of course being babies, I could talk about that for hours. The second one being the memory system, which we do have, but it isn't really in-depth, and then the third now being this. Those are my top three in my overhaul wish list. And I think it's possible that a whim overhaul could be coming sometime in the future. This was a screenshot that was actually shared by the Sim Gurus. Well, if the whims don't look like this, then what do they look like in the game? Somatically responds with how they actually look, which looks very different. The background of the whims have a solid gradient between two shades of the same color, whereas in this screenshot, shot, it definitely looks more cloud-like and actually has texture. Of course, Somatically wasn't the only one that noticed this. Other simmers also noticed this as well. I think that there is a lot that they could change or introduce with these. Also, if a whim overhaul does come, it would be the perfect time to bring back wants and fears like we had in The Sims 2. They could incorporate whims with those. Or honestly, just get rid of the whim system altogether and just give us wants and fears and have those directly impact points for the reward store. We so badly need whims that actually pertain to our sims and their lives, and not just random things. Well, today, June 16th, earlier this morning, a simmer by the name of Missy Hissy Sims tweeted, they actually updated a whim in the patch. The Observe Skies whim was updated to include the interaction on the new small telescope. I am stunned they don't normally do this, could they actually be doing something with whims again? They also updated, same for the stargaze whim. I'm really pleased because they don't usually remember or think of editing existing whims for additional compatibility, so forgive me for being excited. And the search for truth whim, this is lovely. And no, this simmer is definitely very right. It is not often that they go in and update existing whims for more pack functionality, and it's also rare that they go in and add new whims to begin with. How long has it been since we've received new whims. I don't think they've touched that in several packs, or at least I haven't noticed. It's almost like an abandoned feature. It's still in the game. It still exists. Your sims can still use them, but they normally don't put focus on it or add anything new to it. But now, all of a sudden, they're changing things with them. The appearance of the bubbles themselves are different, and also we have them updated for new objects. So, guys, there is hope that we really could be getting some sort of whims refresh or or whims overhaul. And if so, then the future of The Sims 4 is definitely looking very bright. Werewolves are out now, and a lot of the early access reviews are really good, actually. And judging from early access content and the deep dive live stream and just everything that we've known so far, The Sims team has done an amazing job on this pack and really put a lot of love and passion into it. So they really are listening to the players. Let me know down below what you think about this current speculation of a potential whims update or overhaul or refresh? Are you here for it? And if you don't use whims, would you begin using them? There is so much potential for this game. And honestly, with The Sims team actually listening to us, I wouldn't see an issue with The Sims 4 being around for five more years. There's nothing wrong with that happening if the gameplay improves. Share your thoughts below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.